The first thing you want to do is search here for Kali Linux on Google. Select this very first link here. Now, you can select this option for virtual machines, but it has some history with bugs, so stick to the installer images here. Now you can select this variety of options here, but the first one is better. Now, this download icon you will download the actual ISO file directly from the servers of Kali, but you may also use these other options. Since for some reason the server did not work for me, I will go for the torrent option. After the download is done, open your VirtualBox application and then go for this new icon here. Choose a name for your computer. Select the file location of the file we have just downloaded. And here already is Linux, as you can see. Select here and in this list, search and click for Debian 64. Next step is setting up the hardware for the virtual machine. The minimum amount is 2 GB of RAM, or 2048 MB as shown here. Since I have plenty, I will use 8 gigs or 8192 megabytes. Never surpass this green bar here. Same for the processor. I will use the maximum, which is 4 processors. Click here at hard disk and the options are already just fine. The only thing you need to be careful for is the minimum, which is 20 gigabytes. I use the double of it to be sure. Now, just click on finished. There are some final adjustments for us to do. Click here at Settings. Click here at Display and slide the bar up to the maximum, which is 128 megabytes. If you wish to use your system with more smoothness, activate this 3D acceleration as well. But be careful, make sure you have a computer powerful enough to do so. If you are unsure, do not activate it. Click on OK. Now, click here at Start. With this page open, select Install. Select the language, region and keyboard layout you wish to use. Wait some time until this hostname appears, then just go here for continue. And continue again. Here at full name, you actually need to provide the name. Therefore, I will invent one and just leave the username as the system suggested. Be sure to remember it or note it down. It will be necessary later to initialize the system. Same for the password and its confirmation here. I will use 1234569 as a password. Select your local time zone. Press enter here. It is the first option. Press enter in this page as well. Enter again. Select all files in one partition. Select finished and then enter. Now select Yes. Wait for the installation to complete. The software here choose your liking, but I will leave it as it is again and go to Continue. Wait for installation to proceed and then select Yes again. Now that is finished, select Continue. Here in this page, select Kali Linux. Type your username and password that you wrote down and click on Login. Here at VirtualBox, go for View and adjust window size. Resize the window here as I'm doing. Click again at View and then Auto Resize Guest Display. And after that, click here at Max Window Size. If you want to as well, press Ctrl F to go for screen. That's it.